The Federal Executive Council has approved a name change from the Ministry of Aviation to the Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace of Nigeria, as well as the Ondo Multipurpose Sports Project. This was the outcome of the Federal Executive Council meeting chaired by President Mahmoud Buhari at the State House Chamber in Abuja. The Ministry of Aviation also got approval for a roadmap item, which is the concession of Nnamdi Azikiwe and Malamamino Kano International Airport through a public private partnership for 20 years in Abuja and 30 years for Kano, with a total of 800 million US dollars accrued to the government. The Ministry of uh, Aviation, Federal Ministry of Aviation name has been changed because it is on exclusive list, just like Foreign Affairs Ministry is on exclusive list. There is no Foreign Affairs Ministry of Katsina or Bayelsa. So also because it's on the exclusive list, there is no Federal Ministry of uh, Aviation Katsina. The airspace is owned by the Federation. And um, just like to say Federal House of Representatives, there's only one House of Representatives. So the ministry will be called Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace. Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace of Nigeria. That is the new name uh, of the uh, yeah of the ministry. And maybe just say one or two more important things that uh, worth noting in the policy. That this policy is geared towards opening up the industry in line with the EU Agenda 2063 to integrate Africa through uh, civil aviation and to promote entrepreneurship and find access to finance, to money, to equipment that are affordable without a country risk and within our country, Nigeria. So, um, and also to continue the policy of concession um, in all our airports as against privatization. We will not be privatizing our national assets, which is a commonwealth uh, for all of us to continue to remain in the hands People. The Ministry of Transportation got approval for the Undo Multipurpose Port in Ilaje, Undo State, a project that commenced in 2004 and will be restarted by the government of President Mahmoud Buhari with a total investment capital of 1.4 billion US dollars to be funded through public private partnership. The Minister of State for Transportation, Ademola Adeguroye, while revealing this, appreciated the government for the project. The memos are for one, the approval for the expansion and development of Snake Island Seaport in Lagos State through public-private partnership arrangement. Snake Island Seaport in Lagos. That's one. The second is for the expansion and development of the Burutu Sea Port Project. Burutu is in Delta State, Burutu Port Project, again through public-private partnership. And the last but not the least, and probably the most important, the Ondo Multipurpose Port in Elijah Ondo State, on behalf of the government and people of Ondo State, well, that is where I come from. Let me use this opportunity to appreciate Mr. President and the Federal Executive Council of Nigeria for this wonderful, this feat that has been achieved today. I can tell you that Ondo State has been on this project since 2004, during the Ulusha Gungagagu days, when we tried to establish a, seat, a, 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 deep, a, a, a seaport around the, the Olokola Free Trade Zone. 19, 2004. Um, we had not succeeded all these years, but today God has made it possible for us through President Muhammad Buhari and the Minister of Transportation, Alaji Mazu. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Water Resources presented two memos which were approved. They include the resuscitation of the Middle Ogun irrigation project in Oyo State at the sum of 5.2 billion naira and Kagara Dam project awarded more than 30 years ago at the sum of 2.3 billion naira. From the Presidential Villa Abuja, Falun Shua Deguke, Court TV News.